again YouTube viewers, it's Darren from CodyTVBoxes.co.uk Just going to show you uh, some basic settings on this box, on this T8S um, We're going to jump straight into it, and it's going to be a very short video um, We set them up, so really, there's only going to be some very basic settings for you uh, From the home screen, you just, uh, we're going to settings uh, First of all, network um, They'll come already connected to the Ethernet, so if you plug your internet cable in, uh, known as an Ethernet cable, um, it'll just work straight out of the box. If you intend on using Wi-Fi, you're going to have to come to this setting, um, drop down the box, uh, select OK, and that will tick the Wi-Fi access points. Uh, let's give it a second to refresh. Uh, you get down to uh, your Wi-Fi, click OK, move across to here, enter your password, uh, and just as soon as you press that, it brings the onboard keyboard up. You enter that in, and just come out of there, uh, and then just move down to connect now, um, and then you'll connect. Um, however, I wouldn't advise Wi Fi for um, any streaming. Mm, I, I would either suggest get it hardwired or buy what's called some home plugs, which then sends the internet through your home electricity cable. I know it sounds a bit mad, but they work a lot better than Wi Fi and they aren't that expensive nowadays um, so we go across to uh, sorry let's just exit out there and come across, go back to Ethernet now as I say if uh, if you just add it straight out of the box you plug it in and it actually it will connect to Ethernet it'll it'll select it on DHCP which means it'll your router will dish out an IP to it um, we'll move over to display now again I've set it up as far as I'm aware this works on most televisions however there might be a few people out there that you, you'll get your box and obviously with different resolutions and different ideas, different things. It's set to auto detect. Um, right, in this case, you'll see that's greyed out the HDMI output uh, 1080p 60 hertz. Now, you can actually change that. You can manually connect that to there, go to there, and then you'll literally just select which television you've got. Um, if it doesn't work for you, that is. Um, I should imagine that works for most people to be perfectly honest with you. However, display position. Now, it it works at 92% for me on all my televisions in the house and also every box that I've sold to friends and relatives all seem to be okay on 92. However, I'm going to show you this just in case. Um, you just press the upwards or downwards key and that will reduce it or make it larger. As you can see the black lines appearing around the edge. Just do that really until your black lines disappear and then just click OK. And it's as simple as that. Um, screen saver, oh, that's it. That's entirely up to yourself. You can move it to four minutes, eight minutes, twelve minutes, and select OK. Um, and that's really just your basic settings. Uh, moving over to advanced, there's nothing really you need to mess with in here. Um, the the time will pick up off your internet. Um, although you can set, I mean, this is all your audio settings. You can play with that until your heart's content, it's not going to cause you any issues. Um, moving over to um, other. Now in here you can go down to more settings and this will give you your basic Android settings. You can turn your Bluetooth on etc in here although you can do everything from the nice interface but some people prefer to do it the old fashioned way. Um, but obviously everything's in there for you. Uh, and that's it really. Um, I don't think there's a lot else to show you. I'm going to just have a quick run through the I mean that's just your basic settings. Once you've once you've achieved that, your screen resolution and your screen size and your internet connection, you're good to go pretty much. You just go straight into XPMC. Um, but obviously in your apps, um, you'll come through here. I mean, we we install um, a few different apps for you. IPA, which is uh, sorry PIA, which is uh, a VPN um, supplier. You'll have to subscribe. It's about twenty five pound a year. Um, but that opens up a whole different world for you. Um, I'm not going to go into that with this video. Um, obviously Facebook and things are on here. File browser which I've covered in another video. Um, uh, d d d d d just to point out that this is a testing box so it's got XBMC and uh, Kodi on there. Uh, yours will only have one. Um, there's, that's, a, that's another. Basically th these are apps as you're obviously aware if you've got Android stuff. Um, you've got your Play Store. I think what else we put on this. 
Uh, quick setup. That's in case you get into trouble. I can always log in. You, you just give us a number, and it's it's perfectly safe. It's what's called Team Viewer. Um, although I've never had to use it for any customers as yet, um, but it's, it really is just there for for any reason. If you do need it, you can give me a number off it, and then you have to actually OK it for me to come into it, and I can change any settings for you. Um, but as I say, that's really not going to be used. It's just there as a safety net. Uh, reboot manager you'll find that on your home screen although I just <laughs> did notice that it isn't on this particular box but this is the one I use for testing um, which basically you just click on that and that'll give you a reboot option etc you can boot into uh, recovery which I'm sure you won't get involved with unless you're um, into sort of um, the Android side um, just looking down further down um, you've got a speed test on there, you've got Skype on there, Showbox that's another sort of thing like XBMC, you can watch movies on there, uh, YouTube obviously is in there, um, that's about it really, it's not a great, uh, I'm just trying to think what we put on there now, uh, it might come with some internet security on, sometimes I put it on, um, but it's not on this particular box to show you, so. Uh, it really just depends when, when you watch this video and obviously what improvements etc we've made throughout the period of time. Um, I just really wanted to show you the basic setup of the box so hopefully uh, that will get you through. Right, I'm going to leave it there and um, the next videos I'm going to show you how to use a wizard for if you uh, have to reinstall it at any stage. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully catch you in the next one. Thank you.